Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome or welcome back to Chef Vic Cuisine. Today we're making toffee. Now, whether you're serving this as a dessert or even as a snack, you're sure to impress all your family and friends. Now stay tuned to learn how to make each step of this dessert perfect. So let's get started. All right, so to get this started, we're gonna need one and a half cups worth of pecans. Now, where you're from, do you say pecans or pecans? Let me know in the comments below. And for chopping them up, I like using a sharp knife, a chef's knife in particular. You wanna aim for really small pieces that spread evenly throughout the toffee. And once we have those pecans nice and chopped, you also wanna line a nine by nine inch baking pan with parchment paper. And here you wanna sprinkle about one cup's worth of the chopped pecans evenly over the bottom of this pan. And now separately in a medium sized pot, you wanna add in one cup's worth of granulated white sugar, a quarter cup of water, half a teaspoon of kosher salt, and two sticks of butter or one cup's worth of unsalted butter. Bring this stovetop to medium heat or 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 176 degrees Celsius and whisk this mix vigorously and once it begins to boil, you wanna increase the heat to medium high or 375 degrees Fahrenheit or 109 degrees Celsius, only stirring it occasionally as you allow it to reach 300 degrees Fahrenheit or 149 degrees Celsius. This is the hard crack stage of caramel. I like using a point and shoot thermometer to check the temperature, but you can also use a candy thermometer as well. But the amount of time it'll take for your caramel to reach this stage should be about 10 to 15 minutes. And once it does reach that temperature, you wanna remove from the heat. Working quickly, whisk in the vanilla extract, which is about one teaspoon's worth and then you wanna pour the caramel evenly over the pecans in the baking dish. And to make these taste really good, make sure you pour in a like button on this video too. Here you wanna use an offset spatula to spread the caramel into a flat layer, working somewhat quickly as the caramel tends to harden at this stage. You then wanna allow this to slightly cool for about two minutes before adding in one and a half cups worth of milk chocolate chips, spreading those evenly over the caramel and then you wanna gently cover the pan with aluminum foil for about four minutes to allow the chocolate chips to melt faster. After that four minutes, you wanna remove the aluminum foil and then use an offset spatula again to spread the chocolate evenly over the caramel. For final touches, you wanna to sprinkle on the remaining half cup's worth of finely chopped pecans, as well as a sprinkling of sea salt flakes over the chocolate pressing these pieces into the chocolate to allow them to set completely. You wanna refrigerate this for about one hour before lifting the parchment paper from the baking pan, releasing the toffee sheet. Now let's use a serrated knife to score the top of the toffee to create a square pattern. I like using a chef's knife in the next part, but you can easily snap them into square pieces using this method. This recipe creates 12 large pieces of toffee that are ready to be served and enjoyed. And just like that, you've made toffee right at home. You can always substitute the pecans for your favorite kind of nut for a different flavor profile. And here's a cleaning tip for you all. In order to easily clean your pot from the cooled caramel once it's poured, you wanna add water to the pot and then boil it to allow the caramel to easily melt off the surface of the pan. But when you do try this recipe at home, be sure to tag me at Chef Vic Cuisine or hashtag Chef Vic Cuisine so I can see your great takes on this dish. As always, this recipe and many more can be found in my cookbook, Chef Vic Cuisine Volume 4, Enhancing Your Inner Chef. And that's available on Amazon, and I'll be sure to leave a link to that in my description box. And feel free to click the pop-up on your screen for more information on that as well. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed learning how to make toffee, and if you did, make sure you smash that like button for me. It really helps the channel out. And if you haven't done so already, also hit that subscribe button to see more recipes just like this one. And sharing is caring, so if you enjoyed this recipe and think someone else will too, feel free to share this with all your family and friends. And stay tuned for next week where I show you how to make a black forest cake, a legendary dessert hailing from Germany that I think you'll all love. 
Well, thank you all again so much for watching. I truly do appreciate it. Thanks for all your support this December. You can always check out more videos on my page now. YouTube thinks you'll like these videos, so let's see if they're right. And I'll catch you next time on another episode of Chef Thick Cuisine. And until then, peace.